Okay, so we're about to put in a loop recorder in a patient. And this is a very simple procedure. It's done in the office setting over here. And it's all done under local anesthesia. And it's done under sterile conditions, of course. I'm gonna give some low Novocaine now. So this procedure really is well suited for patients who are having blackouts, or they're having atrial fibrillation, or we think they're having atrial fibrillation, we wanna know whether they really need to continue taking blood thinners or not. We need to know what kind of arrhythmias they're having. We need to know what the cause of a stroke is, what's the cause of blackouts. Then this monitoring device is gonna be able to detect the exact arrhythmia that the patient's having. So it's a very simple procedure. I'm just gonna give a little bit of Novocaine now. Honey, you may feel a little stinging right here, okay? Right there where I'm, where I'm pinching you right there, you're gonna feel a little pinch. Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. That's a little pinch right there. See, right there, you're gonna feel a pinching, 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 and burning, pinching, and burning. This is the Novocaine. So this makes it basically numb wherever the needle is going in there, and this, gives you the numbness that'll last for about 20 minutes. And now I'm gonna use a little tool here to make a small little incision. And you're gonna feel me pushing. And this is the cartridge that contains the loop recorder in it. And now I'm gonna deliver that loop recorder inside. So I'm gonna use the cartridge to get in. Now. It's in. I take it out. And there's the small little incision. That's it. That tiny little inject. Now I'm gonna put some steri strips on it. And sometimes you can get a little bit of superficial bleeding. I can just hold that for about a minute or so. And then we put the tape on it and away they go. And that's it, it's as simple as that. It's a nice, simple procedure. Only took a few minutes to do. Now, this device will be monitored from their home. We give them a little device. And if they get any symptoms, they can log the symptoms and we can actually see that at that particular time, what was the rhythm going on. So let's say someone's getting frequent blackouts. You can say that I had a blackout at three o'clock. Well, let's see what happened at three o'clock. And we can correlate the arrhythmias to the symptoms. Alternatively, if a patient does blackout, but there's no arrhythmias, then we can say, you know, you blacked out, but not because of an arrhythmia. You had another reason for blacking out. And we can look for other causes of blackouts, such as low blood pressure, or low sugar levels, or even seizures. So it rules out an arrhythmia. So it's very helpful to even rule out disease. So this device has many applications. It's totally underutilized. And as time goes on, we're gonna use more and more of these types of implantable devices to give us physiological information on what's actually happening to the patient or not happening to the patient. Now, to take this device out is just the opposite. I make a small incision with my blade and then I take a little set of pinches and I just grab hold of it and pull it right out. So even taking it out takes literally five minutes, putting it in takes five minutes. Once it's in, the patient's not even going to know that they got it in there. So there we go. Now I've looked at it and it's looking very nice. And it's, I'm going to put the steri strips on it. And I'm simply going to grab the skin and just bring it together and put it on. See, I grab the skin on either side, bring it together and put it on. These steri strips, they fall off on their own. So we don't have to take them off. The patient is asked not to take a shower for the next four days, just to allow this area to heal up. We keep it nice and dry. And we give them some instructions on how to do that. There it is. That's what the wound looks like now. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you found it very useful. Thank you.